now let's look at how do we represent signed numbers okay what do we mean by signed numbers signed numbers means positive numbers and negative numbers okay we are going to look at how positive and negative numbers are represented in binary number system okay so first way of representation is sign magnitude method okay sign magnitude method right so in this method what we do is we add an extra bit add an extra bit to the left to represent the sign okay so now let's understand how do we represent a number in sign magnitude method suppose i have to represent plus 25 and minus 25 okay so let's see how do we do it first step is represent the number in binary okay so when i say number i mean number without any sign okay number without any sign in binary so if you are talking about plus 25 i am saying represent just 25 in binary and my second step is add an extra bit zero if positive one if negative okay so let's see how do we represent plus 25 over here so plus 25 first step is represent the number without sign in binary so what is 25 in binary 25 in binary is 11001 okay 0 1 2 3 4 so what is this 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 4 is 16 plus 2 raised to 3 is 8 24 plus 2 raised to 0 is 1 24 plus 1 is 25 okay so this is the right representation of 25 or 25 yeah this is 25 what is my next step add an extra bit zero is positive one if negative i am saying plus 25 so my number is positive so add an extra bit over here zero so similarly if you have to represent whoops if you have to represent minus 25 you are going to repeat the same process first what is 25 25 is 11001 and you are going to add 1 since this number is negative okay so that's how you represent a number in sign magnitude method okay now my second method is ones complement method ones complement method here what i do is my positive number is represented 